Hello viewers and welcome to episode number one of Stock Car Challenge. So what is the whole idea of this? So you know that all of the lobbies in Forza Online are pretty dismal. So I thought I'd try and challenge myself by driving a car which is completely stock. So I will not tune it up at all. And this is the car I'm going to settle on, the Chevrolet Camaro uh, from 2015. It has 648 PI, uh, there it is, and I am going to drive in A class. So I'm giving away 52 PI over my opponent. It's going to go for the Killer Curtis livery here. Very nice GoPro livery. So if you want to uh, get that livery as well, um, the author of that is Killer Curtis. Uh, e is a 3 in the Killer. So here we are in the lobby. Now we have a couple of Alpha 33 Stradales, uh, one, two, three, four, a couple of Lotus Exiges. Now if any of those Alpha 33s get beaten by me, I've got to say, they've got to take the disc out of their console and snap it in half because that really is the best thing they should do. They should not be losing to me in that car. So that is the best thing that they should do and the best thing for Forza to be honest. And if they um, have happened to have downloaded the game onto their console, well, they'll just have to smash up their console. Uh, best thing, really, for Forza. So here we are, the first race. Now, I haven't driven the car, so I have no idea how it handles or performs at all. We are second on the grid at Silverstone's short circuit. Now, off the line we go. We've got two Lotus Exiges, first and second there. Into turn one, actually, it handles all right. Coming through the first turn, the Lotus hasn't got the best exit. I'm going to get the run on him into the perilous second turn. So, coming into turn two, very, very sharp on the brakes. Getting quite nice to the apex. I'm going to get punted and smashed again. These guys saying, hello Super GT, welcome to the lobby. Have a big old punt into the tyre barrier. And that has not served me very well. well. I've actually come out in fourth, so it could have been a lot worse. At least I did spin and end up facing the wrong way. I'm chasing down a Ferrari F50 here. First and second have got a decent gap as it stands. But the race is already extremely spread out. And you can tell that a lobby is bad when the uh, field spread is very large very quickly. The Lotus ahead, not having a very good time around there. He's going zigzagging across the circuit. And I've gone through into third. So as it stands, I'm in a podium position. And as it stands, I'm currently beating quite a lot of Al 33 Stradales. Uh, so... That's quite a few people who will be smashing their consoles at the end of this race. Coming through turn one, we are being tailed by a very quick BMW. But actually, this car is actually performing very well. I'm giving away 52 PI to my opponents here. So they really ought to be um, capitalising on that. I'll go a little bit wide into here. Now, that is the first thing I noticed about the car. On downshifting into the turn, the car really wants to oversteer. So that is... the uh, something that I need to combat coming into the next big braking zone here so make sure I try and do the uh, the downshifts in a straight line to make sure the car doesn't start sliding coming through the final turn on the circuit the BMW has got a head I'm going to just try and keep uh, uh, keep with him for as long as possible and actually get a decent cut back on him on the exit but you can see here he's just about got the momentum to keep his position around the outside as we cross the line uh, going on to lap 3, got a decent gap behind, so he's looking fairly good at this uh, early stage here. Now we fast forward to lap number 4. The BMW has actually not got away at all, and I'm going to get any slipstream here. As we've gone down the long middle straight, there's a big gap behind us to 5th, over a 1,000 feet as it stands. So it does look like, it does look like I can get a decent result out of this in my very first race in a stock car now by all means if you want to see me uh, do another one of these challenges please post another car in the comment section down below and I'll try to get another one of these challenges done of course you're going to have to name the car and the class that it should belong to uh, because of course this car is a A rated car so I'm going to be uh, racing it in A class of course now I'll go through into third, not sure what happened with that guy. Um, he sort of just looks like he let me past. But as we end up here, second turn, uh, second to last turn, 
of lap 5 I make the mistake of uh, downshifting while turning and the BMW here is going to tap me through the last turn I'm going to turn it into a drift session but stay ahead in third but that is not um, that is not ideal at all because as you can see there fifth place is very quickly closing in on us and we've got one lap left here can we keep a podium on our very first race in a stock car it would be quite miraculous if I can coming through turn one going to run it wide over the curbs you can do that with um, without dirtying the lap actually as long as you keep two wheels on the curb coming into the second turn very tricky get the car stopped in time actually not too bad of a corner there get uh, get it into second gear don't get the best exits though and as we come down the middle straight it's going to be three abreast as we come down here I move over to the left they're not going to give each other much space but he does give him enough space to go through coming to the next one the BMW goes long and he's going to lunge through back into third I'm going to go around the outside as we enter the final turn the BMW has uh, made contact with me and I'm going to go looking for the cutback as we enter the final straight that guy in the Dodge Dart I believe it is has managed to get through to third on the last lap of six and I'm not going to have enough speed here to get through into fourth but that is a decent fifth for my very first race in this car it actually handles very nicely and it could uh, possibly be a very good car for this class actually if it were tuned up to maximum um, PI for this class so let's have a look at the results here I beat a BAC Mono 1, 2, 3 Alphas so there's three people who should smash up their disc and we're going to move on to the second race here at Bathurst, Mount Panorama now this first corner as we all know is carnage um, because it's Forza so we are looking forward to a 22 car pileup as we enter there already is carnage and I've braked nicely in time and I'm going to get rammed from behind not once but twice and look at that, that is ultimate carnage about 30 cars went into the air there and more cars in the air than on the ground I just don't know how these drivers actually you know even complete races when they're like this I'm gonna go into the side of that guy and it's just gone horribly wrong everyone's off on the grass look at that doing 720s all across the track and the grass and I'm side by side with a Lotus as we enter the second turn before we enter the very perilous uh, hill section at um, Mount Panorama. I'm going to make contact with this guy. Now that was really weird for me because it didn't look like I made strong contact with him but he seemed to just go flying around. Look at this. It's a 10 car pile up and I just think fuck this. I'm going to let everyone go past and start again. So I've gone down into 22nd and let's see what we can do from 22nd in the pack. We've gone past a couple of guys there who are ghosted out. This Ferrari is going to come back to life there make contact with the mono who tries to turn in on me I'm not having any of that you are staying behind me goodbye now through into the mountain stage here uh, this is going to be fairly tough for this car an American muscle car you wouldn't think would be best suited to this kind of environment but actually uh, the handling of this car isn't too bad I think it's the acceleration which is the weakness in the PI looking up the inside of the F50 here and get the braking done just about and I don't think I made contact with him actually. I'm going to get push, uh, pushed off by an NSX. I don't think I made contact with the F50. I genuinely think that he just oversteered and corrected too much um, in fear of making contact with me. I genuinely don't think I hit him. Coming through here, we're going to make contact with the Lotus. I'm going to enter another drift session, but keep it going forward. Look at that. That's miraculous control as we enter the very perilous hairpin here. He's going to knock all the tyres back onto the circuit. Oh my god. And we are going down the long back straight here. Now you know your car's not very good when uh, BAC Mono is keeping up with you on the straight. Only now am I beginning to get the legs on him. Another two guys gone off there. Why can't they just resolve their differences? One of them's just got to concede the position there. And then they would be another 10 seconds up the road. But no, they're going to crash into each other and lose a lot of time. Coming into the chase, the, hair, uh, the chicane here, not the hairpin. This guy is going to rejoin the track at 90 degrees. What the fuck are you doing? I'm going to look at that again. This is why we can't have nice things in the world. This is why the world is going to burn to hell one day. Look at this. People rejoining the track at the most stupid angles. What the hell are you doing? Well, we're going to rejoin the action here. I really just cannot believe some people rejoin the track at 90 degrees. What are you doing? I bet he didn't even look either. 
at least if you look um, if there's no one coming then okay it's, you, you're okay to do that but that I was there he should have conceded that position I know I could have drove, driven around him but I can't believe he just didn't concede that position but anyway here we go into the second turn the F50 has got past me there a clean move we're not going to fight that one too much sometimes in these races it is best to let people pass if they are genuinely quicker you're only going to lose a lot more time by battling with them uh, like this guy might have done he's gone sideways into the wall so yeah as I was saying it is best sometimes just to let people go uh, otherwise you're going to lose too much time coming through the chase second lap the BMW has gone off that is the guy who I was racing in the Silverstone race just now and I've got very wide there not a very good line at all the BSC one is going to come back past me into 11th I'm in 12th currently so I've gained 10 from where I was uh, after the second turn on lap one after letting everyone go so that's not actually a bad return as it stands but we have one more lap to see if we can do any more damage there is a train of about five or six cars ahead of us so there is potential here for a couple more positions so here we go up in the mountain section got Holden Monaro an American here he's going to force me narrow I'm going to go narrow but he is going to concede the position quite nicely just coming through into the next left hander here over the crest We're looking at the back of the BSC Mono who overtook us at the end of the last lap he's gone wide onto the gravel I'm going to get the momentum here as we enter the perilous downhill section I'm in a top 10 position now as it stands almost going to the tyre barrier from breaking too late hit the wall there the NSX has not got a very good line there and I've gained another position I'm in ninth now uh, coming through into the final couple of corners here before we enter the long back straight so here it is the final chicane before the long straight at the end of the track and that is pretty much all that happened to the end um, coming through the final turn now I'm not actually going to finish the race from how far back I was given that I did um, lose a lot of time at the beginning of the race but in the end not a bad position from where I was uh, while well, I was 22nd at one point there 233 Stradales beating me I did beat a um, BSC Mono though I did beat another Alpha 33 so yet more people who are going to have to snap their disc but that is going to be it for me I hope you have enjoyed this video guys let me know if you want to uh, see me do another one of these videos so by all means suggest another car to do but that is going to be all for me today thank you very much for watching this one and I'll see you next time thanks for watching goodbye